Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. December is upon us. The final month of 2020 has a handful of games vying for your attention, and one game may very well be the best game ever made. Only time will tell. Finding a free game this month has been tough, but the tradition continues. Something for everyone, even if you don't have a pocket full of cash. Let's do this. First up is Cyberpunk 2077. Yep, I know what you're thinking, again. This game has had so many delays, it's becoming a running joke now. But on December the 10th, the wait is finally over. A first person role playing game with such deep RPG elements that it will take around eight hours to simply understand the potential of the world you drop into. The early part of the game asks us to choose a backstory for our V character, which could be Nomad with Mad Max vibes in the desert. Maybe a street kid instead with gang affiliation and street smarts. Or what about corporate, a top of the line, money is no issue kind of position. But each of these choices impacts the entire game, such as the nomad knowing people from outside Night City and the street kid having knowledge of street level crimes. These are part of the journey as story and player choice are the real focus in Cyberpunk. But of course there is combat with a range of weapons and even swords, but violence can be avoided with wit and stealth and a few cybernetic enhancements. I'll be breaking down 50 things you should know before the launch, which is December the 10th on PlayStation, Xbox, PC and Stadia. Did you hear about the game Gods and Monsters a few E3s back? Well that had a name change and is now Immortals Phoenix Rising. I'm sure you Nintendo fans recognise the inspiration behind this game, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Without a doubt, a huge part of Immortals Phoenix Rising is based on that, but also combined with Assassin's Creed mechanics. For example, you have a bird companion, who acts much like those seen in Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Origins. The real hook here is the links to Greek mythology. The story has Phoenix rescue Greek gods from the Titan Typhon, who seeks revenge on Zeus. But don't expect a serious story. From the early previews, the narrator in-game is here for comedic value too. Immortals Phoenix Rising releases on December 3rd on everything, PC, Xbox, Switch, Stadia and of course good old PlayStation. It's been four long years since we last saw a Worms game. Back then, Worms was a turn-based strategy title, with over-the-top weapons and impossible clutch plays using the wind. In 2020, Worms have gone real-time. No more waiting for your turn. This time, Worms is a battle royale game? Well, yeah, amongst other traditional game modes like Deathmatch, it is. 32 players pile into a platformer style level with shortcuts and power ups everywhere. Squad modes have been confirmed too, with good old reviving mechanics and potentially a more tactical approach. Who am I kidding? This is, this is chaos. If you like the art style and crazy weaponry from the OG Worms days, you'll be happy to see it all kicked into 2020 in a whole new way. Worms Rumble hits shelves on December the 1st on PC and PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. It's a $15 game, so in the UK that would be about 10 quid. Next we have Temtem. You may have heard of this one in the past due to crowdfunding which pushed this over the line. Temtem is a Pokemon game. Well, obviously not officially, it's attempting to recreate the pocket monster games you know and love, and evolve them in its own way. This means it can exist on other platforms other than Nintendo. So on December the 8th, the early access console release on PS5, which will have crossplay built into PC communities. We'll be travelling across a huge world, discovering and fighting over 100 Pokemon, I mean Temtem and battling and working with other players online. There was talk that the final version of Temtem would move to a free to play model, but right now it's only a paid early access option. Judging by the cosmetic packs they are currently trying to shift, I do hold out hope that in 2021 we will be talking about this game as a free game. We shall see. I suppose we should talk about free games now then. I have to admit I struggle to find free stuff this month. This is due to such high quality games in the past like Rogue Company, a team tactical shooter which gives a great break from battle royale free games. Please try that game if you haven't already. This month the free game of choice is RPG Maker MV Player. Yep, that's the title. It's a terrible title, but let me explain. Back in September, RPG Maker released, which allows players to build their own RPGs in-game on PS4, Switch and PC. Now that client has been updated and everyone, even if you don't have the original game, can play these created games using the player app. 
I know this is a very niche audience, but I'm really hoping someone likes the old JRPG style and wants to play an unlimited amount of them for free. If you prefer modern RPGs though, you should totally download Genshin Impact. It's also free and legit one of the best RPGs of the year. Here's a very interesting concept for a game. Kronos Before the Ashes. This is a sequel to the well-received Remnant from the Ashes, but the reason I'm bringing this up is due to a mechanic it has. After every death in game, your character ages by one year. Just think about that for a moment. It's mind-blowing. Every 10 years, new abilities become available and perks change your character's approach to battle. But on the flip side, your speed and stamina reduces as your years progress. But with that age comes wisdom and knowledge of the in-game mana system. I really thought this give and take was worth acknowledging. There has been zero hype leading up to this, zero promotion either. But if you think the name sounds familiar, you're right. The game is a remake of a VR title, no less. Back when we all thought VR was the future of gaming. Maybe not. Chrono <laughs> Chronos Before the Ashes arrives on December 1st on PlayStation, PC, Xbox, Switch and even Stadia. A few nods of appreciation to other games before we finish. Twin Mirror Lost on Arrival is a third person adventure game in which we play as a journalist named Sam. Twin Mirror plays a great deal like David Cage games like Fahrenheit or Heavy Rain with similar multiple endings to find and play out. There's also a strong suggestion that December will bring the reveal and release of Red Dead Redemption Remastered on PS5 and Xbox Series X on December 10th. I tried to get this confirmed, I've had no luck. Fingers crossed it's true. And finally, Empire of Sin, set in Chicago during the Prohibition era in the US where crime families rose up and controlled towns and cities. The best way to describe Empire of Sin is by imagining XCOM but with uh, free movement outside of combat. This marries together the chaos and highly tactical shooting elements with story-driven gameplay and decision-based speech. It's possible to talk things out with other crime families without shooting a bullet, and even work together to take out another mob boss. Sounds like an interesting approach, doesn't it? Empire of Sin releases on December the 1st on PlayStation, Xbox, PC and Switch. So there we have it, a bunch of new games trying to grab your attention over Christmas and beyond. I'm gonna go hard at Cyberpunk 2077. I hope you choose to come back and check out some of my content. Let me know what you're playing this month and thank you very much for sticking till the end of the video. Much appreciated. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. Thanks for your time. See ya.